hello guys in this video let's have a look on lasso tool lasso tool can be seen here in the toolbox okay just uh, if you could hold the lasso tool you have three lasso tools inside in it uh, one is a lasso tool we have polygonal lasso and magnetic lasso so the first one is a default lasso you can cycle between these lasso tools by pressing shift l now i'm in polygon lasso tool now I'm in magnetic lasso tool okay so I'll just go to the lasso tool and lasso tools are great way to you know cut the objects to maybe remove the backgrounds this could be one of the way uh, you select things so if I just choose the lasso tool and then start drawing like that and uh, things may not really work in your favor because your hand is not basically stable I mean it, it keeps uh, jumping uh, from the actual point you may not get steady strokes or controlled outlines and you take ages but for a random stroke you can just uh, click and drag and then complete that stroke and fill something just people when do some abstract paintings and drawings and they want to get some cloud shape and all that they use this kind of uh, um, lasso tool uh, it is not recommended for clearly selecting things okay it doesn't work that way so um, we have all that options what we had in the marquee so I can add selections okay uh, just by holding shift and then we have subtract selection by holding alt we can remove them okay then we have shift alt where you can create a intersection the common point will be kept here okay so we have a feather I'm choosing a feather of 15 and then when I'm drawing it I'll get a soft uh, filled um, selection there okay so we have anti-aliasing which uh, is basically um, when I fill this I'll just put the feather to zero when I just uh, draw it you get this but when I select the anti allies feature off and then when I fill it okay what happens you know when you go closer uh, this is quite jaggy and this is quite soft and why is it happening uh, the brown is clearly filled in pixels and neighboring pixels are white whereas here the neighboring pixels are gradually fading off to different colors okay so anti-aliasing is an important feature while you're um, working on it and uh, then we have a uh, very nice uh, polygonal lasso so you can select the polygon lasso and then uh, draw the shapes like that okay so these are straight lines okay if you want to draw a triangle you can draw it so when I'm clicking and dragging it if I hold shift it makes a straight line okay and if I hold shift I can get 45 degrees or 90 degrees or 0 degrees so every 45 degree increment I get here while I'm holding shift there okay so I can do that and then uh, fill that thing like that okay so you get a clear um, polygonal shapes there and uh, we have uh, the magnetic lasso which is basically a very smart tool so to select things here okay just I need to click and then just I'm just moving cursor and then I'm just running through that and it's I'm clearly selecting that um, leaf okay it's clearly selecting it so we have uh, width pixels which is uh, basically lesser I've increased that so what happens is when I click and then drag my cursor is almost traveling on the edge of the leaf but if I move it away it's it's not considering the leaf at all okay 
but if I choose 100 pixels and then I click and then drag and if I move my cursor a little bit away still I'm getting that stroke uh, you know following the edge there okay sometimes it can be quite helpful sometimes it can be a very irritating setting so you need to carefully decide uh, whether you want to go for a higher radius or not so i crossed the 100 pixels radius it has kept if you have added a point uh, which is not required you just uh, don't press your mouse and then hit backspace and the last points will be gone okay now you can generally put there so at every corner i prefer to click there and then carefully spend uh, the cutting there um, now we have uh, the contrast by 10 percent contrast by 100 percent so sometimes when things are too blurry uh, this contrast setting will not really consider that so uh, putting a low contrast value can actually uh, respect that uh, shapes okay so you need to work on that too and the next one is the frequency frequency is basically uh, when i'm clicking and dragging here you should be able to see there are drop of points anchor points or path point whatever you call these points are uh, automatically adding up and that is based on the number here okay so frequency um, can be higher so it's 100 I guess so so you get high frequency points there okay so when I put the frequency to 5 then you get a very low frequency points there okay so these tools are uh, greatly useful in cutting out the shapes and then making up the backgrounds okay so lasso tool is mostly a most used tool for selections uh, specifically when it is about to cutting uh, or drawing things okay now here cutting the background and replacing a sky would be a good idea or sometimes adding in digital painting using the lasso tool is also a fair idea so you can use any one of them as per the requirements lasso is mostly used in paintings and color gradings whereas magnetic lasso is used in selection tools okay 